Hello, my beloved Santa Clara residents. This is Nima Mariti with the Al Mariti team. I hope you've had a great first few months of the 2023. Hey folks, I'm so sorry to interrupt the video, but I had to tell you about this really cool product that I have called HomeBot. Now, I use this for all of my past clients, and it essentially breaks down all of your financial metrics and insights for the home, whether it's the current mortgage rate, the amount of equity you've made, the amount of savings you've made as being a homeowner, and essentially the percentage of you know principal to, to interest that you've put, paid off on the loan. There's a lot of metrics that this, this provides, and it's much better than those websites like Zillow and Redfin as well, because of outside of all those metrics that I, that I had just referenced, those websites can be off by like 10% plus or minus. So I'm talking the most accurate data that you can get customizable alerts about mortgage rates, um, when rates drop, and if you were to refinance, how much money you can save, um, the equity you've made on the property, home equity lines of credit, like let's just say if you're looking to trade up or down with your existing property, or you wanna pull some money out through a HELOC and go in and buy an investment, let's say up in Tahoe or you know a condo closer to the new Google campus that's going up in, in downtown West and downtown uh, San Jose, things like that. If you're interested in this, please reach out to me because I would give you a monthly report of all of this information, obviously free of charge. My past clients love it. I'd love to offer it to you. If it sounds interesting, feel free to reach out to me. My link at the bottom of this video is my link tree and it has my Calendly link that you can reach out to me that way, my social media stuff, you name it, and we can chat that way. So reach out if this sounds interesting. Let's get back to the video. The last time the Federal Reserve met, it seems like all, all indications are pointing towards a 25 basis point rate hike that we may see. And when my previous videos, I had initially said that we were seeing rate hikes into Q1, and we were hoping that by Q4, we would have rates in the 5% range. But now from what we're seeing with the strong balance sheets with American consumers, we might even be hiking rates past Q1 of this year and we may not see rates in the 5% range you know, until next year instead of Q4 of this current year like I initially had said. I follow about a dozen economists that are, uh, I like to think are a lot smarter than me and I'm essentially reporting to you folks what I'm getting on my end, but that's for the interest rates. Let's get into the home values in Santa Clara for the month of March. So the median list price for the single family homes that I'm noticing is $1.61 million for the beginning of March. That's down a bit from last month in February when I had indicated 1.65 million. So we're down a bit, not much, but you know, it's something to note, about $40,000. The price per square foot of that equates to around $1,091 per square feet. Last month I had reported 1,021. So as you can see, we're up $70 month over month with the average price per square foot for a single family home in Santa Clara. The median days on the market turns out to be 21 days. I really like this data note because last month I had reported 77 days on the market. And as you can see, we had a lot more wonky data coming out of the holiday season with homes sitting on longer, you know, less inventory to deal with. So we were reporting 77 days, which seemed abnormally high. Seeing 21 days makes a lot more sense for the town of Santa Clara. The price reductions though, 21%. 21%, about a fifth of the homes that are hitting the market are entertaining a price cut before a buyer is getting it to contract. Last month I had reported 24%, so that's been hovering um, in the similar range month over month. There were 29 single family homes for sale for the month of March when I checked yesterday on the first of the month. And that's up a bit from February when I had reported 21 single family homes available. So overall, there's been a small increase in that single family home demand in Santa Clara. And the fastest selling out of those properties, I noticed there was uh, one property in particular was 1600 square feet. Um, think of your 1600 square foot, you know, mid-century modern home in Santa Clara on a 56 to 6,000 square foot lot. Uh, it was a 4-2 layout and it was on the market for 14 days and, and got into contract. So you can see that one got into contract after 14 days. The average single family home is sitting on the market for 21 days. So it really depends on the price and size of a property because you know theoretically speaking, we can have a home that's listed 
you know, let's just say it's a it's an 11, 1200 square foot home or a home that's 2,700 square feet and you're gonna have different buyers for those different properties. Now that was the single family homes. Let's jump into the condos and townhomes. Those, the median list price is 1.39 million. Last month I had reported 728K. So as you can see, it's literally almost doubled. And as you, that goes back to those wonky data figures from the holiday season. So we're starting to normalize, which is good to see because last month I had also reported that $808 per square foot for those condos and townhomes. Now this month in March, I'm reporting 841. So that's increased a bit as you can see. The median days on the market for those, 21 days. So just like the single family homes, the condos and townhomes in town are sitting on the market for an average for three weeks before getting in a contract. Last month though, I reported 46 days. So it's literally less than half of what it was month over month. We're starting to see more normalized data coming in, which is really nice, as you can see. I know I sound like a broken record repeating that. The, the price reductions though, 15%. 15% of homes, condos and townhomes that got in the contract entertained a price cut before a buyer submitted an offer and got into, got into a sale pending status. Last month I had reported 17, so that's been kind of on average um, sitting around the same range, similar to the single family homes in town. There were 20 condos and townhomes for the month of March last time I checked. Last month I reported 18, so inventory is up just a tad. And overall there's been a small increase in demand as you can see based off of these figures um, for condos and townhomes. What, what was really interesting to me is the single family homes and the condos and townhomes for the most part had pretty similar statistics in Santa Clara. Sometimes we see you know different data. It was interesting to see that they overall were around the same um, same trends with price reductions, days on the market, etc. The fastest selling out of those though, there was a few that I noticed around 1800 square foot condos and townhomes. Think of your three bed, two and a half bath layout, your newer build. Um, those sold within one day. There was a few of those that were on the market literally just a day and got in the contract. So it goes back to what I had mentioned about if a home is priced well, if it's a specific square footage that you know can be really family friendly, some people will just jump on that real quick, regardless of these high interest rate climates that we're dealing with today. Overall, I like to see the new data overview. It's, it seems like it's been normalizing coming out of the holiday season. And as you folks know, I'm Al Maridi's son and partner. We've been working together for many years. My father started in this industry in the 80s. And together, we've sold over 1,600 homes here locally since 1988. So if you need anything at all, any questions that you have about mortgage interest rates, home price appreciation, forecast through the year, I follow a dozen economists that are really, really on this and I follow them seven days a week to be able to provide you folks with the most accurate data possible. So feel free to reach out, let's chat. Under this video, there's a Calendly link that has our team reviews, my social media handles, and also my, uh, my Calendly link that you can book a time to chat with me and we can discuss any questions that you have. If you also think that I missed something, please drop me a comment and I'll re uh, include it in my next video next month. So I appreciate you folks tuning in. More to come in April. Thank you.